Today we're leaving Bangkok and are heading west to Kanchanaburi. In this video, we'll show you a few nice and interesting stops on our three-hour drive. Bye Sukhothai Hotel Bangkok. See you next year. After surviving Bangkok's chaotic streets for four days, we're now embarking on a wild adventure to Kanchanaburi. Our skilled guide and driver Peter is like a mix between James Bond and a tuk-tuk driver. He's got a suave demeanor of 007, but instead of a gun, he's armed with a GPS and a killer playlist. As we hop into his minivan, he wings and says, buckle up folks, we're going to turn this road trip into a sequel of The Fast and the Furious. Okay, let's go to the top of the town. Let's go to the top of the Dragon Temple. Heaven, immortal happiness, everyone. How many levels still to come? To the eighth heaven, immortal happiness. Don't tell anyone, but my feet are covered in blisters. I'm so hurting right now. It's not like there is carpet under me. But come on, I can do it. To the tenth heaven, immortal, eternal love. That's worth the pain.
After this climb through the hot and stuffy dragon, we deserve a refreshing drink before we continue our trip.
We now have arrived in Kanchanaburi city and we first pay a visit to the war cemetery. This cemetery contains the graves of almost 7,000 soldiers, mainly from the UK, the Netherlands and Australia, who died here during World War II. The entire right-hand side contains British victims, the front left area contains Australian graves and the rear left the Dutch. Forbidden in every country, I think. I hope so. <laughs> this day is slowly coming to an end, and we finally arrive at the Putakiem Pier, where a long tail boat will take us to the Float House River Quay Resort. We also made a video on this hotel last year, so if you're interested, then check it out. We'll leave the link in the description below. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care and see you in the next one.